What's up guys, it's HQ Avenger and welcome to the trade deadline. So the first deal we're going to make here is a minor deal. We're going to be trading Darren Ruff for Kelly Copeland, uh, B potential outfielder. I think he's 20 years old, basically just doing this because Darren Ruff hasn't been performing up to expectations. And now for the big one, we are going to be dealing pitcher Cole Hamels for Christian Vasquez and Manuel Margo, both B potential prospects and Shane Victorino is basically just for salary purposes. But now we're going to get into a couple weeks past the trade deadline and we, the 42 and 74 Phillies are going to be taking on the 61 and 56 Brewers and just a look at the lineup that we're going to be running today and as you can see pretty much normal lineup we're going to be facing Mike Fires who has been down in this year with a 1.95 ERA he is having a great season so far so now we're going to be taking it to the top of the first where Cody Ashley the number two batter today will be getting a single right down the middle so first half of the game for the Phillies hopefully we can continue this because we have not been a good offensive team. So now a look at the Brewers lineup here. And they, of course, are over 500. So making a playoff push. And we're going to be throwing Aaron Harang, the veteran right-hander. Pretty good number so far. But we obviously don't give much run support. So an ERA like that will only get you a 500 record on this team. So now he's going to be facing Scooter Jeanette, number two batter. And he is going to be just looking. So gets his first strike out of the game. Right there, and now he's going to be facing Jonathan Lucroy, and then he's going to just ground out the Chase Dudley. That's going to end the inning. He gets through the first unscathed. So now, Michael Franco is leading off the top of the second, and there is a leadoff hit for the Phillies. They've been getting leadoff hits all season, but they just have not been able to cash in on those early hits. But Ben Revere is up here with two outs in the top of the second, and he's going to hit that one up and pop it up. Probably chase the pitch high, and not going to get anything out of that one. And so going to go back to the bottom of the second. One out and Adam Wind is going to hit the gap. That is going to be extra bases. He's going to get into second easily on that one. So Brewers get a hit and that is the first one of the game for them. And so now Chris Davis coming up. Lind got the third but he is just looking and they're not able to cash in on that scoring opportunity. Cody Ashley coming up. Top of third, and again, a leadoff hit for the Phillies. So getting leadoff hits, not getting runs, pretty much been the story of the season so far. Now Ryan Howard going to come up, runners on the corners, no outs, and he's going to make use of himself right here, getting a base hit. Normally that would be right into the shift, both runners on the corners. The shift was not put in play, so taking advantage of the fielding situation there. And Dominic Brown going to hit one right back up the middle. Utley coming around third, he's going to score, so Phillies get an early 2-0 lead on the Brewers. Now Nick Hundley, same inning, runner on third, he is up, and he is going to get his money's worth up at the point. That is an opposite field home run for Nick Hundley, the newly acquired catcher that we got in the Papawan deal. So now going back to Aaron Harang, he is dealing today, gets another strikeout on Aramis Ramirez, and... Cody Ashley comes up, top of the fourth. That is going to be a single. And no, Brian, Ryan Braun robs him of a single right there. A nice catch by him. Carlos Gomez would not be able to take advantage of this scoring situation that the Brewers had. And Aaron Harang has been dealing only a couple hits so far. A couple walks as well to his credit. And strikes out Carlos Gomez as you can see there. So he is... Doing very well and still in the game. Bottom of the seventh. He gets Chris Davis once again. So he has already had a couple strikeouts on the game. And base loaded situation for the Phillies. And they cannot come through. So Aaron Herring's day will be done after a strong seven innings pitched. He had six strikeouts, two walks, allowed two hits on the day. And they will be turning it over to David Buchanan pitching with a 4-1 lead. He has pitched pretty well so far through the season in a bullpen roll and he's going to strike out the second batter he faces and would pitch a score of eight so Elvis Araujo coming in to help shut things down in the ninth inning he would get the first batter he would face but would walk Jonathan Lucroy the second batter he would face and Ken Giles would be the next pitcher the Phillies would go with he has been our setup man all year and has pitched well just 
trying to ensure we get the victory here and that's going to be a base hit up the middle so two runners on one out in this situation so of course the last out of the game is the hardest to get and Carlos Gomez would be up and he would single runner would not be able to come around he would hold at third and so Brewers have a base loaded situation an extra base hit could make this a much more interesting ball game but Chris Davis will go down that is his third strikeout of the game and that is your ball game the Phillies would beat the Brewers 4-0 Aaron Harang your winning pitcher Mike Fires would be your losing pitcher and the Phillies get a much needed win to improve to 43 wins on the season and hearing a good performance snow earned runs on the day for him and your top hitter was Nick Hundley who had a two run homer and a bunch of Phillies had multiple hits in this one and it was just a good overall offensive performance by the team and Harang obviously hold, held the Brewers to very few hits on the day in this one the bullpen a little shaky at the end but was able to get the job done overall which was the most important thing as we can really take any victory we can get as we are struggling so bad this season so basically just take a look at the box score on your way out because that is it for me today so thank you all for watching i really appreciate it um do not forget to follow me on twitter at hq avenger to just catch up with anything that i'm talking about about sports or anything in general or updates about the channel because it, it, it will be the best way to find out information and what is going on so that's gonna be it for me thank you for watching it has been a good time i hope you enjoy